motherfucking stores. The idea was to bring the light, the legacy of people like this. Now, when you guys come and you trumpet these instruments here, her vibrations are in the air. Can't you feel Harriet? Think about the Underground Railroad. Think about the time following the Northern Star. But what about when the Northern Star was covered by clouds? And this way, she mm-hmm. just felt the side of the tree. Right, and she right. She just blew on the hey. northern side. Yep. She said, you know what? Let's march north that way. Yep. And what about when the man said, you know what? I'm scared. And she took out the gun. Yep. yep. And, said, and if you think about turning back. You're not going to sacrifice the rest of us. And that brother knew she wasn't playing. Right. And guess what? He can't be moving. And one day, anyway, it looks up. And they ain't the north, baby. They ain't the free, you know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Tell us a story. Tell us a story. Tell us a story. Tell us a story. Anybody else? On, what did you think about the performance? Mm-hmm. 
Mine says, um, tell us a story of liberation. Um, the first time I felt truly liberated was when I was maybe four or five years old and figured out I could dance. Mm -hmm. And I really liked it. And, um, now I'm trying to, I'm trying to dance, but I don't feel totally liberated because, because I, my mom is not, my mother is not liberated. Mm -hmm. and, and her family came to help me with her coming. They traveled from the south to the north and she, she I won't be liberated mm -hmm. until she feels liberated. So I dance every day for her mm -hmm. in the hopes that I can make the world a better place mm -hmm. and that I have women and men around me who try to make the world a better place and liberate everybody.
shovel that is in new. And we're here today to have this finish out for reproductive justice. And um, there's been a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of warfare on our bodies. Warfare on our minds, on our spirits. And it's, it's nothing new. It's nothing new. But um, there was a, there was a, there was a, Billboard, billboard in New York. It's in Atlanta. It's in California. It's in LA. Indiana. It's all over the place. But this billboard says that the most dangerous place for an African American child is in the womb. They're killing our spirits. They're killing our spirits. And it's coming from within our community yeah. and outside of our community at the same time. I had to make a different decision in my life. Where I chose to terminate a pregnancy. And I felt silence. I have felt boring with that decision. Mm -hmm. And not because it was a decision that I regret, but because of all these other voices in my head making me feel like I didn't have power over my own life and what I wanted to create mm -hmm. and when and how I wanted to create that. And there are people, there are ideas, there are whole machines that are making me a murderer that would label me a murderer and I just I'm like I give so much life mm. I give like so much and that's not an ego thing but that's just like I want to be honored and I want to be affirmed and I want to feel free to do what I believe to give to give life in the way that I want to yeah. and I just you know I felt like I needed to let that out mm. and share that
for reviving us of that lesson. I was saying earlier, um, oh, that I was happy, um, rock on, my friend is in a hurry, God bless you, sister, um, that unity, that I was so happy to see an example and be a part of an example of, um, of unity and, um, of courage. A church to unify across across lines. I have different stories than you have. I have different experiences. I come from a different place of struggle. I'm so happy to see this whole 